Hi, I'm Saida Garrett, co-writer of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror, and you're listening to Rainbow Country with Mr. Mark Tara. Today on Rainbow Country, the most recent evicted house guest from Big Brother Canada, Season 11. House guests, I have the results. By a vote of four to three. Jonathan, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada Manor. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. A proud Newfoundlander, Jonathan. Hi. Hey, Mark, man, how's it going? It's going well. That was quite an emotional goodbye. Yes. How are you? How are you doing today? Uh, I'm good. I mean, I I feel great. I woke up, the sun shone, I got to sleep in a great bed. Uh, I mean, personally, I feel great. I mean, I didn't make it to number one, but I got to really build a good presence in the house. Uh, I feel like when I left, uh, it touched everybody, it hurt everybody. Uh, so I can't ask for any more than that. That means that I built some great relationships in the house. I mean, and it isn't goodbye. It's see you later. I get to see these people soon. I get to see some sooner than others and I get to help with the finale. So I feel great. And I'm, I found, I feel privileged to be part of this whole thing. The vote four to three. Did that vote surprise you? Uh, not really. I mean, I was, it was kind of 50, 50, me and hope kind of went in with the mindset. We didn't know which one of us were going home. So I was prepared for both. Uh, and I feel like either way I lost. I mean, if I've stayed in the house, I get to see my best friend and ally leave or I leave and my best friend and ally stays in the house and you got to fight for us. Right. So uh, I'm not super surprised with it, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, I know I know everybody there was sad to see me go no matter what the vote. So uh, I'm OK with it for sure. So, Jonathan, how would you describe your relationship with Ty? My relationship with Ty. Okay, well, personally, I really respect the man. I think we're very similar in a lot of ways. We, we carry ourselves with a lot of the same things in life. I mean, um, I think outside of the house, we'll become great friends. But game-wise, I think early on, things got twisted up, and we went in different directions, and we never were able to meet a common ground. Uh, I feel like we both played two different games, uh, but we had a mutual respect for each other and we still do. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm really, I wish we could have worked together from the beginning to the end. Cause I feel like if we did, we would have done some major damage, but uh, things happen and they are what they are. And Hey, I'm okay with it. Were you surprised that Ty put you on the block? Um. Well, we had a conversation prior to the, to the after POV ceremony. He told me respectfully I would have done the same for him. But uh, that whole week surprised me. I mean, well, with Santina getting saved, uh, saved and then him picking Shania for the POV, uh, I mean, it was uh, kind of a weird course of events and Shania winning and then taking Renee off the block. And I kind of knew that he had uh, – there was promises made with him and some people in my alliance that whoever was sitting next to Hope would go home. Um, and like no one had any idea that that would be me. Uh, so it was a little bit of an uphill battle and it was an emotional battle. People had to go back and forth. But uh, I was surprised, but not surprised at the same time, if that makes sense. So, Jonathan, where do you think 
things went wrong with, between yourself and Ty? Between myself and Ty, um, I had to go back to early on when we had the all guy alliance. I mean, it was something that I was a little uncomfortable with going in because we didn't know each other. We didn't know each other's games or who we were, but we did it. And um, I think there was, and me, Ty and Rob actually had a little three guy alliance going on that we would go back to each other and report. But I think someone else noticed that and started getting into Ty's mind a little bit and, and trying to, you know, veer him away from us and Rob especially. And then I chose to just side with Rob. But, um, yeah, I think things got mixed up in the beginning and they just never could, we never could fix them. So, and unfortunately, and I feel like the conversations I had with Ty prior to leaving, uh, he kind of knew that. And he mentioned to me, he, he kind of wished he had to stay true to those alliances because I feel like we could have done great damage. I mean, we brought powerful different aspects to the game and uh, I'm sad it didn't work out that way, but it is what it is for sure. <sighs> So, Jonathan, this week, uh, there were two members of the Crown Alliance on the block, Hope and yourself. Did you find it challenging campaigning against one of your fellow Alliance member, that being Hope? Did you find that challenging? Absolutely. It was very challenging, but uh, at the same time, rewarding. Because if I had to pick a way to exit without winning, uh, it would be side by side with a brother of mine. Um, when I did campaign, I didn't campaign against him. I just campaigned and let the people in the house know what I offer to them. And that's, you know, a great number, loyalty, respectful game and openness, open mindedness. I'm never going to try to sway anyone's mind a certain way. I'm always open to conversation. I wanted to stress that to the other house guests. Uh, but also at the same time, I couldn't go against my guy Hope. When anyone asked, I told him how I felt about him, honestly, because I do feel like he's a great game player. I do feel like he has a lot more to offer than what he thinks and he believes. So uh, I'm, I'm okay with how I campaigned. Maybe I should have campaigned a little bit different and I would have been in the inside, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, if I had to pick someone to go out next to, it was my guy Hope for sure. Do you think your Crown Alliance members made the wrong decision evicting you? Um, that's a tough question. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it might be naive of me to say that, but I think either way, they kept someone that is a great number for the Alliance. Uh, I mean, if they had to keep me, you know me, I'm going to go down fighting for what I believe in, and I believe in the Crown. Uh, but I feel like hope is the same way. Um, I feel like we both bring a lot to the table. So uh, and I do know that the crown, it was not an easy decision. I mean, there was a lot of heartbreak. I mean, uh, it was back and forth. I feel like there was people fighting for me, uh, which I couldn't be more appreciative of. And uh, so I, I do think that they battled with it for sure. So you're off to the jury house. Yes. Talk, what kind of gameplay will you be looking for when you do get to cast uh, a vote for the winner of Big Brother Canada Season 11? What kind of gameplay will you be looking for? Uh, strategical leadership, uh, for sure. I mean, someone that strategized and, had, and someone that built a good group, stood for, stood for the group along the way and made the hard decisions. I mean, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of the game, so tough decisions are going to have to be made. So, uh, I mean, just great gameplay overall, and someone that is strategic in how they play it, but not to uh, – someone that led and didn't push people in the direction they felt was the way they wanted them to, someone that led their alliance fairly. I mean – because like that game can get tricky. You want people to do something. They have their own mind. They don't want to do it. You can either try to force them to do it, or you can strategically move from it. And I want to. I'm going to cast my vote for someone that played the game what I feel the right way and led, and then got to the end. So, Jonathan, who do you think is playing the best game? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I got a couple people in mind. Uh, I mean, I might be a little biased because it's part of the crown, but. Uh, 
I feel I strongly feel like Kuzi is playing a fantastic game. She is she's leading the charge. She's very strategic, and she has a target on her back, but not too big. And she has a great relationship with people. Uh, I mean, I, I admire her game for sure, and uh, I'm very interested to see how she moves forward in this game. And uh, I believe in her, and I would not be surprised if I see her in the final two and standing tall as number one. So, Jonathan, my last question for you: best part about being part of Big Brother Canada season eleven? Oh, that's that's my favorite question. That's the one I love the answer. I mean, getting to know the house guests, getting to build relationships. I mean, the Crown is a strong example of that. That wasn't an alliance that was forced. It wasn't an early alliance. That was something that was formed over circumstance, and relationships were built, and we grew together. And before we all put that crown on our head, we got to know each other. And we knew what we brought to the table, and we knew we were behind each other. Uh, I mean, we all brought something to the group. Uh, we all brought s- strong leadership skills. Not one led over the other. We all led as a unit. Um, and I got to know these people on a personal level. These are things that I will strongly hold close to my heart for the rest of my life, uh, long after this game. So I'm so appreciative that a Big Brother Canada gave me gave me this opportunity and I, I used it to the fullest. I mean, I gained, but I also enjoyed time with the people in there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to look back at this whole experience as a positive, great thing. And yeah, so that's the, my favorite part of this whole experience. Jonathan, well said, well done, well played. Thanks for being mm-hmm. on the show. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it, Mark. 